All right, plowing ahead. Let's get to something a little lighter. I, um, I watched this great YouTube video of these two guys that like rebuild trucks, and they went through all the Fords, all the GMC, and all the Dodges, all the different generations of the trucks, and they rate them S. I don't know what S stands for. That's like sick or whatever, the best level, and then it's just A through like F. And uh, speaking of Dana Carvey, the redhead one, when on the Dodge one, when he wears the glasses, looks like, I think it's Garth. I never really saw Wayne's World, to be honest with you. Um, he kind of looks like a redheaded version of that. But anyway, they went through all the Fords, and they went through the Chevys. And I realized why I'm not a Chevy guy. It's because I don't think Chevy has made a good-looking truck since the square body. I'm just being honest. Um, they were talking about the cat eye one. I could see that. That was all right. Um, I just haven't liked the Chevy front end, but I love, you know, from 1960 to like 1987, I love all of those Chevys. Um, and I'm not one of those guys who's just like, if it's not Ford, fuck that. You know, I like a lot of the Dodge trucks. Um, although their front end is a lot uglier when you kind of look at it over the years than I remember it being. But uh, I, I am a partial to the Fords and I realize that I like, as far as Fords go, I like the fifth generation sixth seventh ninth and 14th and then the rest of them i don't know like ford had a real bad period from like 1997 the 10th 11th and i would even say the 12th generation were just like i don't the front end just looked terrible to me the 13th they got back on track and then 14 they fucking crushed it so if i ever did like an mtv cribs i i, I think i would i would have all of those generation of trucks and then um, if I was going to get a Chevy, I would get, I like those ones, the, like the late 70s, early 80s ones. Uh, have to get a Silverado. I know it's weird, but I'm fucking, I'm into trucks more so than I am into uh, to cars. But I'm never going to do that shit, though. I think, you know, to be that person with like all of these fucking cars and shit, like what do you do with it? Speaking of which, somebody claimed the, um, those, those, uh, climbing grips that I had in my garage. If I'm going to ship those out this week. It feels great that somebody took those. I got some other shit in my garage. If you guys want to take this shit off my hands, um, I literally have one of those, just one of those gray shelves that you, looks like you'd put like uh, books on it, whatever. It has no back on it. You know those metal shelves? When I look at all the stuff I have on there, it's like I have not looked at or used any of that other than the cooler. The cooler I take to the Rose Bowl every year. My hockey stuff, I have not fucking played since 2015, although I'm not giving up on that, but I'm getting close of just getting rid of the shit. Like, it's taking up so much fucking room. Um, just go back to being public skating guy. Um, buckets of paint and shit. But I have a few more workout things I might try to dump on you guys. Or I'll just bring them to shows. Just be like, anybody here want a dustpan? Which sounds so stupid, but there's always some pack rat in the fucking crowd that's going to keep it, Right? Oh, dude, I'd love one. You know, have an extra fucking dustpan. I mean, that, that would be fucking sick. Dude, look at this dustpan. I got, I got the comic. At a, I got this, this great story with this dustpan. I was at a stand-up show. Swear to God. Swear to God. And the comic on stage comes out with the dustpan. He sets it on the stool. And, you know, I think he's going to do a joke about it. You know, I think there's got to be some sort of, uh, you know, we need to clean up America or something. I don't know what he's going to do. Next thing you know, he just goes, you know, who wants a dustpan? And I'm telling you, there was 400 other people there in the crowd, and I somehow got my hand up before they did, you know? You know me. You know me. If I see an opportunity, I just go for it. Somebody's going to do that. 